Mandalorian. Look outside. They are waiting for you. Yeah? Good. We'll get copyright strike if we put Star Wars music in this, right? Okay. So you gotta make your own, like you gotta do it yourself. Da, 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 da. Yes, people, this is our Star Wars, The Mandalorian, Disney Plus, Episode 1 review. You asked for it, we get it, here it is. So, Disney Plus released yesterday. Um, we got all the content. All of it, Marvel, we got uh, all the old school Disney movies. I'm watching Peter Pan, as you see. Um, and we got a new series, The Mandalorian, episode one. They're doing this week by week. I know, I don't like it either, but. I, I thought the whole series was coming out. I didn't know it was week this, by week. This is how they get the money, baby. Oh, this man. is how they get the money. And guess what? I'm gonna start paying for this shit. <laughs> Cause, all right, let, first of all, we're going to start this episode off with no spoilers, first half. Then we're going to go into spoilers. Don't worry, we'll let y'all know. Uh, by the way, I am Los the Most, your host, Public Enemy 59. And right, right with me today, we got Leo, a.k.a. Leo is the greatest, a.k.a. Canadian number one. Yeah, something like that. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, let Fuck it, let's get let's get to it. So we saw the episode. What did you think? Overall impressions. No no spoilers. What did you think? Alright, alright. I gotta hold myself back from spoilers. I think honestly it was um it felt like a really good continuation of what the cartoons left off. And in, in mm. terms of like a series, like Oh, so you seen those the the two. Yeah. You seen them. Yeah, I, I haven't really Wars, seen him. I haven't I've really seen Rebels. Him. I haven't seen Resistance. And, so. and this all and this all takes place right after episode six. Yeah. The like, fall of the Empire. Yeah, yeah. So this is in between episode six and seven. Yeah. Where we've gotten things like uh have we gotten any movies in between here? No, no, not yet. Oh, so it's all been no. the cartoons and now the Mandalorian. Yeah, I, I guess, yeah, because Rebels is technically before... Before, for... Before, and, and Solo is before, for... Before, for so, yeah. yeah, you're right. This is, yeah, this is, the this first is our first, uh, you know, taste of After the Empire Falls, After Six. So, uh, I think yeah. what was really nice about it is that it, it gives you the same feel as the original films in terms of, like, the grittiness and, and the look of it. Obviously, in more like a modern take because of no, I totally agree. It gives it, it's Star Wars. You feel it. It's in there, you know. And one thing that I want to start off with is, you know, uh, for example, um, uh, the the one be, uh, between was the uh, Solo and uh, Rogue Rogue uh, Rogue One. Rogue One. Rogue One was like a thriller, right? Like that yeah. kind of spy kind of thriller. Yeah, yeah. And I like how this one, I mean, I've seen some people say that it doesn't have a tone. I I think it does have a tone. To me, it feels like a Western. I don't know about you, yeah, but it, it feels yeah, like that Western, like that shootout, standoff kind of feel. And I like it because I, I, yeah. I really haven't seen that in the Star Wars universe. Um, I love... I feel like it could have gone deeper into character development, but it's only the first episode. It's only the first episode. Really? Yeah, it's, it's only character. the first episode. And it kind of did go into character development, and yeah. we'll get into that in the yeah. second half of the episode. But uh, I, I really liked it, man. I, I feel like uh, it, it's a good premise. It's a good time uh, where they set this in. Uh, I love the look of it. It looks Star Wars. I love the feel of it. I like the sound of it. Mm -hmm. I like almost everything about it. Uh, yeah. what, what you got? What you got? I honestly like. Uh, I'm trying to th think of how to describe it without like spoiling it because I, I enjoyed it so much. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I was saying, like it, it feels like a continuation of almost like how um, the cartoon series is going. The cartoon series is awesome. 
So, and, and with that also in mind, the director that directed the first episode, Dave Foley or Dave whatever. Yeah, Favreau. John Favreau oh, wrote, oh, yeah, yeah. wrote it. He wrote it. He wrote it. It's pretty it's easy to it. direct it when someone writes it for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Here, do, do but, it. But Dave, yeah. Dave actually, he's the one that directed the first uh, Clone Wars movie. The, the animated. Oh, okay. And he okay. supervised directed the whole Clone Wars, um, uh, like show. So like. Oh, it makes sense. Yeah, so like I get the same feel of it. And I love those cartoons. So like this is just like Star Wars lore, and I, I fucking love that shit. So. All right, let let's score real quick for our people that haven't watched it. I mean, so, you know, should you guys watch this show? Yes. Like, yeah, no doubt, if you're a Star Wars fan, if you've been invested in the movies, and, in, uh, in, I mean, yes, watch this show, no doubt. Um, I mean, I'm going to score it. I, I think that it could have done, it started off slow overall as an episode, but this is a series, this isn't a movie, yeah. so we're not going to, like, you know, see all the movie. good climax stuff right now, right? This is just the beginning. But as a first episode, I'm gonna give it a nine point oh. Um, I think for me, I'm gonna give it like a solid eight point six. I wouldn't, okay. I wouldn't go as high as nine because I feel like it was still lacking some things. Okay. But, I, I agree. I agree. But I think uh, overall, it was great. That's the first episode. Like, yeah, first episode. this was the last episode of the season. I would give it a much lower, less score because you're you you're anticipating more. But as someone who kind of walked in blind, and Disney purposely did that, right? They they purposely didn't give you a lot on what this series was about, and I'm I'm glad about that. I'm happy about that because you kind of walk in, and you don't really know what what's gonna happen. Yeah. And, you get yeah. a little glimpse of that in the first episode, and all of it is like, okay, oh, occur, all right? Yeah, well, so, not, they just drop you into, like, the scene, like, right away. Exactly. Like, boom, yeah, you're, you're in it, boom, and minute. that's yeah. the reason I give it a 9.0. You know, maybe a, nine, a 9.1, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 9.1. Yeah. All right, so yeah. let's go into spoilers. We're going to uh, – if you haven't seen The Mandalorian Episode 1, go watch it. Come back, right? Because – we're about to delve into spoiler territory. So, uh, yeah, uh, give me what you didn't like about this episode. Let's go into spoilers. Just give it all out there. To be honest, it's not, there's not a lot that I, that I didn't like. Like, for me to say that or try to find things I didn't like, it would be just nitpicking. Like, in terms of... Let's nitpick. I mean, you didn't give it the 8.6. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You did, you, you did give it an 8.6. You didn't give it the 10, so... No, no. Well, what was it? What was I guess, it? I guess uh, some of the ways that uh, the, the dude was walking, the Mandalorian, I guess, was walking in his suit. Like, some of his movements, man. It just looked so fucking... Oh, like, my goodness. Cool. Really? Like, like yeah. Really? Like, that's the shit I'm going to nitpick at. Other than that, man, I don't know. Like, no, like I didn't I mean, give it a perfect score because it, I don't think it deserves a perfect score. That's mainly it. Okay. It wasn't entertaining enough. It, it wasn't was anything bad. Definitely. It just wasn't. Look, yeah, there wasn't enough action in it, and that's something I attributed to being episode one, right? Yeah. Even yeah. you know, um, yeah, there wasn't enough action in it, but it's episode one. Like, what do you expect? They're building the world. They're building the lore. Yeah. Um, it also. Thing, I also ahead. feel like it, I also I also feel like it was kind of rushed. I feel like we went from. Uh, the scene of him learning how to ride a, that bull thing like really fucking quick to him showing up at the place to to collect that like huge bounty from yeah and you know yeah, what it, it to rush through it really quickly I, I agree with you maybe not in the aspect you think but I do think I I would have wished for some more world building or some more character yeah. building right it kind of went from him walking into a bar and boom he's a you're you're right away. He's bounty hunting, bounty hunting, and there were small glimpses of him in his childhood. Yeah. I wish, I wish they would have gone deeper into that in the first episode, but yeah. I suspect that we're gonna get no, more they, of that down the series. Yeah, but as someone who's on the free trial, you know, I want to, <laughs> I want to see more. Right. I want to see more. So it's a forty-something minute episode. 
throughout the whole episode, I'm like, man, like, come on, I want to get to the meaty stuff. Like, I want, like, that, but, okay. Obviously, I think it's, we don't have, we don't have too much to say bad about this. No, no, no. I, and, and I think, um, I think what I, what I really like about it is, is the fact that. Okay, it, let's, let's get into the yeah, good let's stuff. Get yeah, it. let's get into the good stuff. Because I have a lot of good things to say about it. Oh, um, yeah, me too. Uh, all the fan service that they give in this first episode is nuts. Like, you get all these little details like that, um, what's called, that little uh, monkey lizard thing in the cage. Oh, and yeah. Little, little, Java's little, Java's pets little, that little that pet little little pet. After the Empire is falling, they're cooking these fools up. So. Yeah, yeah, hey. yeah. Awesome. So even, Feels like, bad, bro. Feels bad, man. <laughs> So even like the little security droid popping out of the wall and like speaking that same language, like like when Luke or CP C three PO walks up to Jabba's hut, Jabba the hut's like palace and he sees that same thing pop up. Man, I love that yeah. little. Like, or little hey, thing, yeah. I don't know if you noticed, uh, cause I just with Disney Plus I watched episode one at work today. Like yeah. I literally <laughs> did. Uh, uh, there was that one uh part where he's walking into the lair of the Empire guy, right? Okay. He's, uh, right, he's and he walks in and there's that little trash can. Oh bro, yeah, right. Yeah. In the same, yeah. Like one that uh, R two and yeah. and C three P O C when they get caught and it's yeah, that little yeah, trash yeah. can. I'm yeah. like, oh shit, that's the same motherfucker. <laughs> like, well, that, well, that's yeah. what I mean. Like, it, it felt like a lot like episode five and six and and I guess even like uh, a little bit of four, but especially six when you see like when he gets that first bounty. And he puts that dude in the fucking uh, cryo freeze. Yes. Oh, man. Oh, crazy. So good. Yeah. yeah. And just callbacks like that. And look, man, the way this is structured and the way it's filmed and the way it's presented, to me, it's a lot better than what the movies have done so far. Oh, than yeah. What, than what <laughs> seven and eight have done so far. Like, the, the presentation to me is so much more authentic. Yep. And it's so much more true to the Star Wars universe that I, I I see this episode one and I look at seven and eight and I'm like, man, y'all could have done a lot better. Really like, yeah. um, but um, uh, one thing I want to write off uh, like credit is how it starts off. Like he gets an easy bounty, right? He gets a, yeah. well, I would have, he fought guys in the bar, but he gets an easy bounty and it it doesn't the, the show doesn't focus on that it really focuses on the world on his escape from that planet mm-hmm. uh the animals the monsters the yeah, bees that, that, that and, yeah and that he's had to face it's thing. not really it's not really just the bounty this guy is facing he's facing the elements he's yeah. facing the natural world and i love how his first bounty didn't really have to do with the guy himself it really had to do with the world and I really like that. Boom. And it shows us how the next thing, the culture, the religion, the lore behind the Mandalorian. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, how man, that, little, whoo, that little bit, yeah, the little thin bit. Oh, my God, man. I love that because, like, even from, like, the animated series Clone Wars, there's a couple episodes where they highlight just the Mandalorians and, like, their mm. planet and stuff. Yes. To see that and to see, to understand, like, the tribe aspect of the Mandalorians and how they're all, like, warrior aspect and all that kind of stuff like oof to see that like full circle in the first episode i love that and as someone who didn't really i i I saw some episodes of the cartoons i didn't go deep into the seasons having disney plus i'm about to do that man it's so good it's like some of the best star wars like content i could see how someone who has watched it can appreciate those scenes way more yeah. Uh, as someone who just saw a couple of episodes and did see that Mandalorian character in the episodes, I could, I mean, I could tell that they delve deeper into that. Yeah. And these little scenes kind of show that how, man, him getting his little shoulder plate right yeah. from, from his winnings, like, and the 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 floundlings and just that whole culture. Yeah. It, it yeah. makes me want to see more episodes and delve deeper. And like you said go into the cartoon series and see all those episodes because they have been lauded. They have been uh, praised. Uh, I just never really had the opportunity or chance to get into them. Having Disney Plus, I do, and I, I just want to jump deeper into that. You have to, man. They're, they're awesome. They're great. Uh, and then bringing the Empire. So this is a after 
the fall of the empire, he goes into that lair taking mm-hmm. this really good bounty, right? And boom, you see the the empire yeah. there, these stormtroopers that yeah. stand up with the stormtroopers, bro. Ooh, it's so good. No, they're so like, oh shit. Up, yeah, I'm telling you, these guys are like in hiding. These guys yeah. are, are are bottom of the barrel now. And they're just trying to make it up. Like, they're trying to get back up. And he's like, you know, four to one. And he's like, I, I like my chances. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Damn. yeah, yeah. He's Bro. a badass character, yeah. Even yes. though he didn't say much, like honestly his he had very little dialogue throughout the entire like episode. But his actions like spoke louder than his words and Big man, time. He's a badass. Big time. And I know at some point we're gonna see that mask off and I know who the who the who the actor is, but the just the lore behind it, like, you know, is it true that you never take your mask off? Like that just kinda like builds on this mm-hmm. on the world, on the story, on the on the culture of the Mandalorian. Mm-hmm. I, I like it a lot. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, introducing the Empire in that manner, I liked it a lot. It's this really expensive bounty, really secret. They want yeah. you to do something kind of off the books, and he takes it, man. Uh, and and okay, I have spoken. I have spoken. What do you think about him landing on this whatever planet this was? I wish they would have delved deeper into like, okay, where he well, at. Where he was exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because, well, yeah. I guess I don't know. It'd be nice because like it felt like such a remote planet, and like you would like to know, like especially because I, I don't know what the character's name is, but the guy he meets that helps him. Um, he, he has spoken, bro. He has spoken. Yeah, he has spoken. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> he has spoken. I, I have spoken. spoken. I have spoken. <laughs> so good. So good, yeah. bro. Because he hints at, like, oh, people come here for peace. And it's like, well, what do you mean exactly? You know what I mean? Like, you want to know a little bit more about that. But, uh, no, that whole the whole transition of him going there, me and that guy, him teaching him how to ride, that yeah. whatever that thing is, like, that was cool. And then when he bumps in – or when he finally gets to the place and he finds that uh, – Bounty Hunter droid? That was sick, man. It's Bro! Good in action. So oh, badass. God. I'm thinking, okay, this droid is going to... When I first see the droid pop up, I'm like, okay, I guess this is going to mess up his plan. And he does... But no, they end up working in conjunction, working together. And it's just hilarious. Like, this yeah, droid... Yeah, yeah. This it's is a, a bounty droid. It's a bounty droid. Yeah, it's like so, that classic droid human kind of, you know what I mean? Uh, dynamic, yeah, and it's yeah. so good. It's so yeah, good. Yeah. Um, they fend off all these like bat- whoever these guys are protecting the bounty. Um, yeah. <laughs> the bounty. <laughs> that part. <was. laughs> okay. Yeah, and, like okay, it's a badass battle. Mandalorian struts his shit, but he also gets a lot of lines in there because you don't. You, right. You're right. You don't hear a lot of uh, from the Mandalorian. But then that, you know, his back and forth with the droid is really funny. It's really good. It, it keeps you entertained. One of my, I mean, probably my favorite scene from the whole, oh, yeah, yeah. Easy. Uh, from the whole episode. Uh, but then they get into the final part, right? They, they break open the base. They find the bounty. <laughs> and it's a small baby. Fifty-year-old baby. <laughs> it's a, a 50 yeah, fifty-year-old year old baby, <laughs> right? So it's not. It looks like Yoda, but it's not. It's Yoda species. Yeah. But it's not Yoda. Which is crazy because technically we've never, Yoda, we've never seen. Entire, no, we've never seen any other species other except than Yoda. in the cartoons. In the cartoons, there were other Yoda mother. Yeah, people. yeah, exactly. Yeah, but they're right? they're supposed to be like wiped out. Like Yoda was supposed to be like the last one. For real, and Yoda was alive. Yeah, Yoda's supposed to be the last one because okay. his, his species are so okay. Like, okay. his species are so in tune with like the Force that the Empire saw them as um uh, as a threat, so they went and wiped them out. Wow. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. So, so, so to see like a baby, like that's crazy. Like you know what I mean? It's it's like where did it even come from? Okay, and this is what I'm saying, like. For John Favreau, right, to yeah. write this shit. Oh, awesome. <laughs> like, awesome. bro, it's legit. It is such a good story. This, I mean, 
the guy should be writing their movies, is what I'm saying. Yeah, of like, course. Why is this talented man uh, not writing their movies? But, hey, man, so far, great jump up to the series. I mean... I'm 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 subscribed, right? I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I'm on the boat. Like I'm, I'm give me a whole year, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> give me the year. Yeah. Um, no, nah, man, but super good, super good first episode. It did start off slow, like I said, but it was. I think it paid off in the end because yeah, hundred percent. As a fan, you're like watching. And you're like, okay, where is this going? And then you see the ending. The Zero Yoda baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then he kills a droid. Yeah, the droid tries to kill little Yoda. I like, know. He said, right. I got to murder this fool. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> and then the whole, the old E.T. touch my finger thing. Yeah, I know. I dude, was that was like, like, a fucking party. I was like, oh, okay. What's going on here, man? You can't be any more cheesy than this. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I, think, I think speaking of fans though I think um, I think every Star Wars ty- every type of Star Wars fan will be like like happy with it I like I think they'll be satisfied with the first episode like Star Wars fans can be very toxic and they can be very against like change and new things but I think I think even those ones will be happy with this because there was a lot of little like Timbits and Easter eggs for them from the original three so yeah I mean and, the last Jedi sucked, but this is <laughs> this is legit, man. Like, yeah, like wow, great way to start off. Uh, this is a weekly show, so every week we'll be getting a show. In that time, I got a lot of time to catch up to the Clone Wars and oh, what's yeah, the other one? What's the Rebel. other one? Rebels. Re- Rebel, yeah, Rebels. Yeah. So I got a bunch of time to catch up to those and kind of delve deeper into the Mandalorian culture because uh, this uh, this is a way – this show, Mandalorian, it draw it, I think it has an ability to draw in the old Star Wars fan and new Star Wars fan. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, people who never seen the show could jump in and, and immediately be interested in this and get an idea of what it's about. So, um, yeah, man. I'm very ecstatic about it. That's why I gave it a 9.1. You gave it the 8.6. Legit. Star Wars fan or not, go. Uh, you have to watch this. Um, but yeah, that's been our show. That's been our review. Uh, we might be doing this episode by episode. We don't know. It's kind of like whatever we're in the mood for. So let us know if you want us to do episode two. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you guys for watching. You got anything to save us? Um, no, man. Every, everyone, make sure you like and subscribe, like Lo said. And the more you do, the more reviews we'll do like this for Star Wars. Okay. okay. Hey, man. May the Force be with you. We love you guys. Love you too, Peace. man. Later. Peace. <laughs>